welcome back to my channel psychic goddess erica remember to like this video as you come in subscribe comment share and share this with those that you feel will need to hear it if you choose to at the end of it all so today we are talking about the empress carrying on in the london tarot series um done the 78 tarot series and the empress is card number three in the major arcana so um again still using the melanated classic tarot um and as far as what the major arcana is i explained that briefly in the first video i did in this series which was for um the first card of the major arcana which is card zero the full so you may want to go back and check that out if you're just joining in to this tutorial but the Empress is card number three in the Major Arcana in the Fool's journey, with the Fool representing us, us as people in this journey of life. Um, so if card three is coming off of card two, which was the High Priestess, with the High Priestess in summary representing learning to trust our intuition, to make choices, to make decisions, you know, learning to um, connect with the divine and so on card three the empress is now the energy of being ready to manifest being ready to create being ready to um give birth to life so the empress in the is the energy and whether you identify as male or female or non-binary doesn't matter whether it's talking about you specifically specifically or a person in the dynamic specifically or just an energy going on um the empress is the energy of being pregnant with change being pregnant with creativity being pregnant with a new life that is coming about we may not see the results just yet and that is because it is in the manifestation process it is still in the womb either symbolically or literally for some people. So for some people, the Empress can actually represent somebody who is currently pregnant or about to become pregnant, or maybe uh, your partner or someone in your life around you that is currently pregnant or about to become pregnant. Whether it's with a actual life, like an actual child, or whether it's pregnant with the symbolic energy of giving birth to new life, a new chapter for yourself, a new business, a new project, a new relationship, a new way of thinking, etc. So when looking at this too, there's a whole lot of red and there's a whole lot of yellow I'm noticing. Also the trees right here, the green, the green tree is representing growth. The Empress is an energy of there's now growth happening. And in order to give birth to change, to create a new life for yourself, you know, there's a certain level of reinvention going on. You know, trees don't grow tall overnight. The seeds are planted and then in divine timing, evolution takes place, the growth takes place. So the Empress is also representation of growing something in terms of reading this intuitively. You guys know I read intuitively. I'm not breaking down the literal symbolism and I explained that in the first video as well. So um, trees represent growth that is taking place, growth taking place within, within you, or growth taking place within your life, growth taking place with within the situation growth is happening as well. So the Empress is also an energy of um, needing to feel confidence. The Empress is also an energy of needing to feel in charge. Knowing, it's also about tapping into your divine feminine side, which we all have both, divine feminine and divine masculine, but being in receptive mode, being in receptive mode of knowing your worth and your value. And also, a lot of the time, the Empress is an energy of someone that is desired, like someone that's that people can see as something they want to start something with, create something with, um, give birth to something new with. You know, maybe it's you needing to see that in yourself. Maybe it's somebody seeing that in you, or maybe you're seeing that energy and potential in someone else. Um, there's a lot of red. So red, <clears throat> excuse me. red is root chakra base chakra energy so when this may also be in order to give birth to this new life 
either symbolically or um, literally, you have to have your stability in check, feeling secure within yourself, making sure that you're getting your world, your home life, like handling your obligations, getting all your ducks in a row, um, root chakra, base chakra energy, handling your foundation before this can happen. And, and so um, there's also yellow, solar plexus energy, needing to take action. Now that you are, you have been visualizing, you're tapping into your intuition, you're knowing the powers in your hands, like going back to the magician and going through. Um, now that you know all these things, you're taking these lessons, you're taking this growth, and you are now ready to manifest something moving forward, but manifestation also does take some action to some level. However, that action applies, and your intuition will tell you when that action is needing to go do, 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 plan, you know, work, make it happen and women action is sometimes even to rest and receive so that's all part of the empress energy as well and um there's a lot of other colors but i'm just talking about what i read intuitively in terms of what is popping out and standing out the most to me now i'm not sure what kind of um plants or fruits that these are supposed to be but again to me those are representing things that bear fruit things that grow things that nurture um, you know, sustenance, uh, things coming, I think I already said, things coming to fruition, things like that. Now, reversed, and again, sometimes I reversal, some reversals, sometimes I don't. Like I explained in some of the videos, the what you're feeling, what your intuitive downloads are, and what the other cards are showing you in the mix. Sometimes you can, you can take a reversal if you want to, but it's not really needed. But in terms of reversal, sometimes the Empress reverse can mean that maybe there's a challenge in creating this new life. Maybe there's a challenge in you seeing your worth and your value to have a new beginning or a new chapter. Maybe there's blockages that you need to handle before you can have give birth to this new beginning, literally or symbolically. Um, maybe for some people, this can represent a challenge in becoming pregnant. Um, uh, a, a challenge in either you becoming pregnant or your partner becoming pregnant or maybe it's a challenge in, in um, seeing your creativity maybe it's, a, maybe it's a challenge in you knowing what you want to give birth, birth to um, blockages etc that's how the reversals can mean sometimes but you can still read the same thing if it's upright and if the other cards or if your feeling is that there's some challenges taking place especially uh, depending upon whether or not there's a question sometimes it doesn't have to be reversed for you to get that message as well so um, again there's no one meaning for any card this is why being self-aware and using your own intuition is going to be key in terms of how you are viewing the messages coming through for you and your situation or the client situation if you're reading for other people um, and things like that and the number three is also a number of um, community sometimes because you know how they say it takes a village to raise a child sometimes that village is other people in your life helping you sometimes that village is your spirit team your ancestors helping you and um, embracing community maybe it's um, you know med medical professionals helping you and when I say to raise a child that can mean a literal child or even the symbolic child of like the business you're creating your your work baby or your passion projects or your <laughs> excuse me or maybe it's you raising yourself again reinventing yourself uh parenting yourself all over again because you've been wounded before now you need help you need a village to help you out to grow you're raising the child within you to continue to grow and evolve you know what I mean the number three is also about manifestation and law of attraction. The, man the number three is about um, beginning to see certain results, even though all of it may not be tangible just yet. Maybe you can sense it. Maybe you can feel it. You also think of like Trinity energy, um, the divine masculine, divine feminine and spirit or um, the parents and then the child or um etc all the different trinities that exist um in order to create something you know there's also a heart here so i would also see this as needing to give birth to the things that your heart is actually in that your heart is actually invested in you know make sure your heart is in it and if it's not then what can you do to heal what choices do you need to make um in order to show 
the situation the most love possible to make decisions choices moving forward from a place of love so that's what i see that's what i have for you guys as far as the empress goes hopefully you guys enjoyed it let me know how sometimes you have come to view the empress or any other things that you want to let people know comment it below your connection with the empress card let me know remember to subscribe like the video comment and share and i will see you guys in the next video which will be the emperor